Hello everyone, so this is a requested video about the speed and power of the i7 processor on this new Dell Inspiron. I have the task manager up right now so you can see what's currently running. All I have running right now is what I'm recording this with. So we're going to do um, some quick tests on how this processor works as requested. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, Google Chrome and this is the signed in version which means I have all of my tabs and such on here uh, different things that I had you know marked so you can see that was pretty quick let's search something real quick so um, perhaps um, let's look at the moon you can see that was 0.68 seconds so pretty quick a little bit less than a second there if you look at edge here this is the alternative um, browsing program that comes with Windows 10 it starts up very slow and if we search the same thing let's say the moon you can see it you know it was relatively the same speed but it just took longer to get the program up so I use of course Google Chrome you can see we had a spike here between the speed um, right now it's just running at very slow gigahertz the maximum speed is 2.60 although I do think if you do the power options and go to high performance this might change it a bit it doesn't show it on there but I do know for oh it is running 3.02 gigahertz so yes it does increase a little bit if you change it to that if that is the need so the other thing we're going to look at too is a game and the only game I have installed on here is Minecraft first we're gonna get on a server so this is in an actual world um, but there are a lot of people on this server and so we can see that it's running a very smooth about 50 frames per second. Now to tell you guys though, the video settings for this is 11 chunks. Uh, I do have the graphics for fast because you don't want lag spikes on here and the clouds are off as well for any of you Minecraft players out there that are wondering. Uh, so that's 50 frames per second and on a server that is pretty good. Now for a world, let's get on a random world here in MC Edit World. We can see the Titanic here and if anyone's familiar with MC Edit you know how all this is here. Um, so you can see that this is loading fairly good, 52 frames per second, rendering all these chunks and different things. Um, as far as flying goes, it's not lagging whatsoever. Walking is a breeze, it doesn't lag. You can go into buildings. It looks fine, it looks magnificently awesome. But I did want to just come in here and show you this awesome building that I downloaded. Kind of looks like a convention, it is a convention center, what am I saying? But uh, with bats in it, so that's festive. But you can see throughout that entire thing, I didn't have the information up, but it is running 60 frames per second, which is more than enough to get a good, um, good speed on here. Um, and even with explosions and different things, it is only it only drops to about like 40 frames per second, so it runs great with that. Another thing that I use is um, editing software, and the software renders in, uh, considerably better. I uploaded the unboxing video on here, I edited it on here, and it only took, it was about a 9 minute long video I think, and it only took 10 to 20 minutes. And if you do high performance, it goes closer to like 10 or so, 10 to 15. And on regular, it's about 20 to 25 minutes. So in case you're wondering about Adobe Premiere, um, on the last Inspiron, it was about 30 minutes, which that's not a big difference, but it is a considerable difference in a sense. So that has been, that's Google Chrome and everything. Um, you can see software such as MC Edit, the editing software, um, run particularly well on here. This is a very high usage software, I would think. So if we load this one, the MC Edit world we were just on, to where we can edit all these and different things, it's going to render them and it's going to render them rather quickly. It's obviously going to render the buildings we were close by. And we can see the CPU usage is only at 30%. So essentially, if we open up Google Chrome also, and we also open up the Windows Store, so we have three major things running right now. In addition to recording this video with recording software, we can see it's running, it, it's leveled out still at about 30%
for the CPU usage. Of course, everything else is running a little bit different. The disk and the memory, you can see the disk is pretty well maxed out, but the CPU is not, which that's what we're looking at is the processor. So and that essentially concludes it. That's everything um, maxed out. I hope this satisfied your needs of knowing how the Intel i7 processor works. I've been satisfied with it, and if you have any further requests, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and this is Karsten Frisky signing off.